we're starting with this organizing trouble spot. How to use, display, or store your treasured collections. You know, those things you've gathered up and hunted for, or they may be items handed down. Michelle Inkley has some direction for us on what can be a spring cleaning moment of reckoning for all of us. Okay, so you have clients you're working with on organization. How big of a problem are the collections? It is a huge problem. <laughs> <laughs> and mainly because collections are sentimental. Collections are usually only for one single person and not the family. So if somebody's collecting things and it's getting out of control or encroaching in somebody else's space, it does create a little bit of tension if the family isn't on board with the certain mm. collections yes, that I that person is where collecting. That happens. Um, I've seen that on hoarders, I think. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's talk about um, collections. Like, how should we think about them? Okay, there's different categories of collections. Collections should bring you happiness and joy, right? If you're going to collect something, say your grandmother gives you a teacup and you just have these warm feelings and you just love it and you, you know, just want to save it forever and you're like, I'm going to collect teacups because it brought you this really good feeling. And then a few years down the line, your cupboards are overflowing with teacups. You don't even drink tea and they're just taking up all the space. Yes. It's that feeling of that first teacup, you might want to get rid of the other ones and keep that one special one. Okay, so, so that's one good tip. That's Yeah, those Narrow are sentimental. Down. Then the other collections are things for like investments, maybe stamps or coins or things. You have to store those a little differently. We'll talk about that. And then other things are like memorabilia. So mm -hmm. there's like some different collections and how to utilize them. Yes, and how to use them. And how to use them. Okay, well, we're going to start with just your first point, which is collections are possessions. Yes. Collections are possessions. So anytime you have a possession, you have to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So if you have a big collection, you're going to have to dust it. You're going to have to store it. You're going to have to do all the things for it. You're going to have to babysit your collections. <laughs> so the best thing is, is if you love your collection, display it. Have it out where you can see it. Enjoy it. Have it in a cupboard. Have it where you're you know getting that joy out of your collection because that's what why you're collecting it right yes so if your mom gives you a collection of safe thimbles that's what my mom collected okay I don't want that okay. right it's not gonna bring me joy so don't collect things that aren't gonna serve you well or bring beauty to your home or your surroundings okay well you have that healthy attitude of being able to like say these are not I'm so sentimental I'll be like my mom's thimbles. I and that is, the, that is the problem. So let's think about that. If I wanted to keep those thimbles, maybe I pick one that kind of means something to me. And then maybe I have a little spot, I think you were talking about your linens, mm -hmm. where I have some treasures. I have a treasure box of things that are sentimental. As long as it stays in that one little treasure box, you can have a treasure box of sentimental things, but go ahead and let the rest go because they're not serving you right now. Okay, so that does um, go into the next thing. And we, you have all these great ideas here. I was just looking at your table and we've got things that I have collected in my past. We've got the shells over here and we have the sea glass. And the shells are something people will often do from vacations, yes, right? They let, so these are like fun things that you collect as you go. If you're not displaying them, go ahead and get rid of them because you don't know what beach you've collected them on. But they if you're displaying them, it's it. kind of fun. And then also the same with the sea glass. Same thing, yeah. Everything that you collect that's sentimental, show it off or go ahead and just put maybe one or two in your treasure box. Things that you collect, like I collect linens. Mm -hmm. That's a practical thing. So that's another category. Sometimes we have things that we use all the time. Ribbon, linens, pillows, things that we utilize all the time. Again, have a spot for it. And if I come home with all these new linens and I can't fit it in that spot, Bye bye to some of those, Ooh, right? Harsh. Because mm -hmm. you just have to have it contained. Otherwise, again, it's going to overtake your house and become clutter. And that's kind of what both of these are. These were those uh, usable yes. collections you talked about with the ribbons and the buttons and the linens, mm -hmm. and then these. So this is more baseball of, cards. Yeah. So this is more of an investment. Mm -hmm. So if you have things that are investment pieces furniture, cars, <laughs> antique cars, coins and things. You're gonna wanna store those differently. You're not gonna wanna display those. Those are gonna have to be in, you know, containers or 
things that are going to protect them, hidden away almost, maybe in a vault. But those collections are you really have to take care of. And, and maybe I see, send some are money. these? This is obviously someone's collection of pe yes. Pez dispensers. So kids. are you letting kids play with those? Yes. Okay. So kids, here's the thing with your collections. As your kids collect the snow globes and the Peds and all the things that you're like, I'm going to pay for their college education with that. No, you're not. <laughs> but you know, you save them, you put them in shadow boxes. When we moved, we had these in shadow boxes. I'm like, kids, I'm going to get rid of these. And they're like, mom, we love them. So put them in a basket in the playroom or somewhere where they can see them. My grandkids play with this now. So I feel like it's okay to keep that collection. But really, as your kids get older and they come back from college, they're not going to want some of the things. It's okay to let it go and maybe again keep one or two in their treasure boxes. And that is kind of your final thing. You're saying downsize when it's time. So you just said those three words, let it go. Let now it we'll go. all sing the song. <laughs> but how do we do that and how do how can we functionally do as that? As you're an older, as we get older, we think our kids are going to want this, yeah. right? So ask your kids, do you want this collection? If they're like, uh, no, then go ahead and sell it or get rid of it while you have that in your head if they're like yes mom we want that then go ahead and give it to them or gift it to them then and kind of start cleaning out as you get older every move every time you redecorate every spring go through something and try to see if it's really what you want to live with pass down and if your kids really need it or want it sadly I had this conversation <laughs> with my kids and they were like they basically don't want no almost anything because it's sentimental to you I know, I know. so, so it's so hard yeah I to, know okay now you do this professionally. Yes. Tell us about your professional organizing services. So I am the Glitzy Pair and you can follow me on Instagram or my blog and call me and we can set up a schedule for one room, one section. I can give you tips and trips over the phone. I can do your whole house. So it's, that would it's be amazing. really the best job in the entire world. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here.